Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again, and today I have a haul video. This is probably my biggest haul ever. I've kind of moved away from doing haul videos. I mostly just do unboxings now, but I figured since I got so much stuff, I would do a video. And it's I just set it all up on the dining table. I'm not pulling it out of bags or boxes or anything. So first, this stuff here. Uh, I went. I just got back from a vacation to Europe, actually, and I got pick a brick in Paris because they had a bunch of cool teal and vibrant coral colors. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just getting over being sick. And then I got these build a minifigure packs because I I don't know if you guys know, but exclusive parts have started showing up in the build a minifigure sections at Lego stores. So most of these hair pieces are exclusive colors. Uh, this blonde girl, she has the Barbara Gordon hair from the Lego Batman movie in blonde. That's the vet's hair in, like, neon orange. I have no idea where that hair piece is even from. There's that rubbery hair in blonde. That's Mad-Eye Moody's hair piece in brown. And I think that's just the trendsetter's hair, but I wanted it for, uh, Captain Marvel from Endgame. And then I got the Spider-Man minifigure pack. I've already built it, actually. I've built a couple of these sets already. I also got the Summer Celebration minifigure pack, which I haven't built yet. And then I got some minifigure packets. These were from Bricklink. I got Chip from the Disney minifigure series, because that's the last figure I need. This is Unikitty, because she's the last figure I need from the like, Movie 2 series. And I got three Series 13 packs, since I don't really have any Series 13 figures. Don't know who's in here. I know I bought specific ones but I forgot who they were. And <clears throat> so this is the first set I have. I got the Flintstones set directly from Lego. So this is cool. I'm not like a huge Flintstones fan, but I think that this set is really, really cool. So I got that. <clears throat> and then this, these are all the sets I have out here. Starting over here, this is the Lego Movie 2 sets. I got Queen Whatever's Palace and the Triple Decker Couch Mac. And then from Bricklink again, I got this Double Decker Couch set from the original movie. For Harry Potter, I got Expecto Patronum, the Triwizard Challenge set, Hagrid's Hut, and the new Clock Tower. I went to Barnes & Noble, but they didn't have the Night Bus, so I ordered that online and it'll be coming later. So that's pretty much the only set missing from this haul. I'm really excited for these new sets. I love the Clock Tower. Then the big ones, I got the Parisian Restaurant, which I've wanted for years, and Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, so this set is really awesome to me. That T-Rex looks insane. So let me know if you guys want me to do quick reviews of those sets. And then I got the Throne Room Showdown and Oni Titan from Ninjago. Um, I got the Dragon Boat Race. I'm really glad Lego stopped doing regional exclusives because I really wanted that. I really wanted the Chinese New Year sets. I got the Lady Liberty Brickheads. I got that small city space set. I like the other ones, but I think I'm going to wait for them to go on sale before I get any. And then got the Dragon Dance Guy Brickheads also. And then over here, I got the Space Rocket Ride. That was a freebie on lego.com. That's what I got with the Flintstone set. I got the Research Institute set that's also from Bricklink. This was a really cool set. I never got it when it came out back in the day, and I'm surprised I found it for so cheap. So I'm really excited to build that. I got Architecture Paris since I went there on my vacation and I really liked it. And then I also got Architecture Shanghai because uh, this is my favorite archi architecture set actually the of the Skyline sets and I used to live in Shanghai. So. so yeah, so that's everything I got in this haul. Please comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.